congratulations on taking the first steps on a new path. Kundalini Yoga is called the fitness of the future because it works the total you to give your life an amazing boost. This DVD offers two sets which can be done individually or continuously, as well as a meditation to help you de-stress and self-bless. Have fun and may your life be filled with strength, success, and spirit. Satna. There are two breath techniques we use most often in Kundalini Yoga. Breath of fire and long deep breathing. We'll start with long deep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. At the end of the exhalation, pull your navel into the spine to release the last thread of breath. Relax your stomach as you inhale. Let your stomach expand with the breath. Continue to inhale as you relax the solar plexus and sides of the ribs. Finally, feel your collarbones spreading outwards as you fill your upper chest with the breath. Now exhale from the upper chest through the ribs and the belly as you pull your navel inwards. Inhale into the belly, the ribs, upper chest, and exhale from the upper chest, the ribs, and the belly. Don't forget to pull your belly in and up. Inhale, continue on your own. There are three distinct parts to a long deep breath. Now we're trying to join them all together into one long, smooth, continuous breath. Long deep breathing is a very natural way of breathing. It's the way a baby breathes. The mastery of long deep breathing will give you more energy and openness in your life. Now relax this way of breathing. Please sit on your heels. Your hands are on your thighs, fingers spread. Incline forward slightly and focus at a point on the floor six inches in front of your knees. Extend your tongue and begin a panting breath over the extended tongue. Feel the natural rhythm of this breath. This is the first step in learning the breath of fire a somewhat rapid, rhythmic breath, even on the in and out. Keep it very light. Think happy little puppy. See if you can transfer the breath to your nose as you straighten your spine, bringing the crown of the head directly over the heels. Keep your diaphragm relaxed so that your stomach can move by itself in rhythm with the breath. Remember the real key to the breath of fire is to keep the upper abdomen, what we call the solar plexus, relaxed and let the breath breathe you. Breath of Fire is an important tool in Kundalini Yoga and will speed up the benefits of the exercises. It oxygenates the blood, helps the cells regenerate, it energizes and puts you in rhythm with yourself. And inhale, relax the breath, 
and come sitting cross-legged. Please have your hands in prayer pose. We're going to tune in to our inner strength and our inspired self with the words Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. It means I call on my higher self to help me do my best. Please begin every practice session by doing these sounds. Inhale. Om. Om. Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru And relax. Please breathe long and light through your nose. We're going to think a mantra, a word of power, to work on the mind as well as your body. The sound is Sat Nam. It means the truth within you. If you're new to this concept of using a mantra to meditate on, Please think of it as a way to move your mind towards your positive self and to de-stress and self-bless. Throughout this entire DVD, when we say meditate, think sat as you inhale and nam as you exhale, during and between the exercises. Your eyes are closed and looking up and in towards the brow. If this is uncomfortable, Look down and in towards the tip of the nose, eyes barely open. And hold on to your knees and grind your stomach in a big, slow, careful circle, counterclockwise. Draw a circle with your navel around your knee circumference. Massage your inner organs. Make this one your daily grind. In all of the exercises on this DVD, there's no need to go as fast as the demonstration. Please go at your own speed. Feel roots growing from your tailbone, reaching energetically towards the core of the earth. Feel grounded connected, and secure. And now go the other way, reverse. Just a little bit more. And inhale center. 
and relax the breath and meditate. Good. Now have your legs in front of you. Extend your legs, flex your feet, extend your arms, thumbs up. You're going to inhale back 10 degrees and exhale forward. And continue on your own, inhaling back and exhaling forward. If you're uncomfortable, bend your knees. We call this one the rowboat exercise. This one works on your kidneys, adrenals, sciatic nerve, lungs, and solar plexus all at the same time. Really draw the breath in. Let your upper abdomen release. The beginner's mind is something advanced yogis aspire to, to stay inspired. Inspire yourself to breathe and move some more. This yoga's philosophy is not found in books, but can only be experienced through the body. Keep up and have that experience now. Want to do this all day long. The end is endless. Now inhale center and relax and lower your hands and meditate. Inhale Sat and exhale Nam. If your mind wanders, bring it right back again and again. Now hold on to your ankles. Press your sternum towards the wall you're facing. Long, deep breathing through the nose. Press your heels away to lengthen behind your knees. Keep lengthening your spine, creating space between the vertebrae to feel the stretch behind the legs. You should feel the stretch behind the legs, not in the lower back. If you're uncomfortable, back out of the stretch until it feels okay. You can also sit on a pillow to make this more comfortable. Long, deep breathing through the nose. You can inhale through the heels, up the backs of the legs to the tailbone, and exhale up the spine. It's early in your workout. Don't be in a rush to achieve your full stretch. Don't focus on what you think the full pose is supposed to look like. Experience the exercise exactly where you are. This attitude will take you further, faster. And inhale deeply and relax. Hold down a little bit more and slowly round up and support yourself with your hands and bounce your legs up and down. And turn your feet side to side. And now meditate for a moment before we work again. We're going to do what's called a basic spinal series. The spine is not only the housing for the central nervous system, but according to yoga, it's the luminous pathway that this yoga's namesake, Kundalini, courses through. When our energy moves, our lives can move in new and amazing ways. It's also important that our spines are aligned so the inner organs can get circulated to and the glands can secrete the way they're meant to. Now, if you have trouble doing these exercises sitting cross-legged, consider sitting on the edge of a sofa with your feet flat on the floor. So meditate a few moments more, then we'll start the process. 
Now please hold your legs halfway between your ankles and knees and flex your spine. Inhale forward and exhale back. Let your lower spine relax into the movement and start to really use the breath. Let the breath move you. Keep your head still throughout this one. The chin stays level with the floor in these spinal exercises. Create a wave-like motion in your spine. Waves propagate energy. That's exactly what you're doing. You're as flexible as your spine is flexible, and as young as your spine is flexible. So flex on and turn back the clock starting now. Keep breathing. If you start to get tired, let the breath body take over. Now inhale deeply, hold the breath, contract the lower muscle, rectum, sex organ, and navel. And now exhale, hold the breath out, and squeeze the lower muscles. Now inhale and relax the breath. Meditate, focus at the brow. Inhale, sut, and exhale, nam. Let the work work for you. Now please sit on your heels and have your hands on your thighs and flex your spine again. Lead with your diaphragm. Inhale forward and exhale back. If you cannot sit on your heels, have your legs crossed and hold your knees. Feel that your solar plexus is the center of a gentle tug of war, being pulled forward and back. Keep relaxing this area. The upper abdomen needs to release before we can attain full flexibility and proper alignment. True suppleness starts with freeing the solar plexus and extends to the extremities. Don't forget to breathe. Feel your ribs expanding with the breath. Go with it. Flow with it. Almost there. And hold the breath and contract the lower muscles rectum, sex organ, and navel. And now exhale, hold the breath out, and squeeze up again. Now inhale deeply, and relax. And have your hands in your lap, and meditate for a moment. Compose yourself, and predispose yourself to the beautiful light of the inner, Sat Nam. And sit with your legs crossed. And place your hands on your shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in back, and twist. Inhale left and exhale right. Turn your head with your body. Draw the breath all the way down to the center of the earth. As you draw upon the highest heaven via the breath. Another one for your liver. This dynamic twist 
releases the muscles along the spine and massages the diaphragm to increase our lung capacity. Twisting is the perfect complement to all the flexing we've done and will be doing. We're also detoxifying all our inner organs. We call this one the washing machine. When we expand our lung capacity, we expand our awareness. An expanded lung capacity and a flexible spine are considered prerequisites for the experience this yoga is directed towards, the greater you. So give yourself that experience now, because now is always the time. Now inhale center. Hold the breath. And exhale. Hold the breath out. and relax and lower your hands and meditate again. Penetrate through the mind's mazes to that certain self, who you are. And now hold on to your knees and lean back and your elbows are straight. Flex your upper back now, work between the shoulder blades. Inhale forward and exhale back. This upper back area is not an easy place to get to. Make sure you have your elbows straight and that you're leaning back. Work this tension out. Open your heart center in the sternum area. Breath is an energy delivery system. We were born to breathe, and we were meant to be energized. It's been said that our souls can only be experienced through our bodies. So through this exercise, let your inner aspect inform your life. Now inhale deeply and relax and meditate. Lift your sternum, relax your diaphragm, and if your mind wanders, bring it right back again and again to sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. In this remembrance, live. Now have your hands at sternum level left hand facing away from you, right hand facing you. Hook your fingers and inhale left elbow up and exhale right elbow up. We call this one the propeller exercise. Feel a slight pull on your fingers. This one is for the heart center and will also boost your immune system via the thymus gland. Give yourself hope. Give yourself health. Do it for you and continue. That's it. Put your heart into it. Stay strong. If you feel like stopping, but keep going, you're giving yourself an amazing energy boost then and there.
Now inhale center, hold the breath, pull your hands a little bit, contract the lower muscles. And exhale, hold the breath out and pull your hands. And inhale and relax. And now have your hands at throat level. Again, left hand facing away from you, right hand facing you. Hook your fingers. Now inhale, hold the breath, contract the lower muscles, rectum, sex organ, and navel. Pull your hands, not as hard as you can, but almost. Now exhale, hold the breath out and pull your hands, contract the lower muscles. Now inhale, raise your hands overhead, arms rounded, contract the lower muscles and pull your hands. And exhale, hold the breath out, pull your hands and squeeze up. Inhale, hold the breath, move your hands to throat level and pull your hands again. Squeeze the lower muscles. And exhale, hold the breath out and squeeze up again. Inhale, raise your hands overhead, squeeze the lower muscles, pull your hands. And exhale, hold the breath out, pull the hands, squeeze up. Inhale. Lower your hands to throat level and pull again. And exhale, hold the breath out and squeeze up. Inhale, raise your hands overhead. Squeeze the lower muscles, pull your hands. And exhale, hold the breath out, squeeze up, and pull. And inhale, and relax. Ease out of it, and sit on your heels. And interlace your hands in your lap. Have your hands in Venus lock. Women have the left thumb on top, right little finger on bottom and men have the right thumb on top, left little finger on bottom. And meditate for a moment before we do more. This exercise is called Sut Kriya. You're going to say the sound Sut as you contract the lower muscles, rectum, sex organ, and navel. And say Nam as you release the lower muscle. Feel Sut implode in your navel and feel Nam going up the spine. Please extend your index fingers and raise your arms straight up overhead. Now as you do this one, don't be inhibited. Do it out loud. Keep your elbows straight throughout and the breath will take care of itself. And let's begin. Sat na 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 sat 
Naam, Sat, 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 Naam. Now inhale deeply, hold the breath and squeeze the lower muscles and elongate your spine. Feel energy gathering at the base of the spine. Now exhale, hold the breath out and squeeze the lower muscles. Now inhale, relax and lower your arms. Ease out of it and lie on your back and relax. Let yourself go before we go on. You've completed that set. Now let it work for you. Be healed and uplifted before we continue. When you allow yourself to be still, things happen internally that allow your life to move and for healing to happen. could be said that when you're always on the move, nothing gets dealt with. So relax. Pave the way for breakthroughs. If you're completing your practice, please continue to relax or move to the meditation at the end of this DVD. Now have your arms above you, inhale, stretch, and relax. Hold over or under your knees and rock and roll on your spine now, please. We're going to do an intermediate set called the Five Tibetan Rites for health and longevity. So meditate for a few moments and make these exercises a symbolic act that will take you from what was to what can be. Now have the hands alongside the hips, legs straight, feet flexed. Bend the knees, have the feet flat. Inhale up into bridge. 
Exhale, press your tailbone back until you come sitting. Inhale up and exhale, press the tailbone back and keep going. Really press the palms strongly into the floor as if you're trying to press the floor away from you. This will open up your chest and allow your head to drop back gracefully. In this and all the exercises that follow, feel free to rest anytime and begin again when you feel ready. Be willing to do one more forever. That's the attitude we want to cultivate. That's where spirit lies. The end is endless. Use the breath and draw upon the part of you that knows no limits. relax and lie on your back, arms by your sides, palms facing up, feet turned out. Very good. Relax and let it be done for you. The next one works on your navel center, the fire in the belly. According to yoga, this center needs to be worked on every day to give you the energy you need to do great things, to stay on purpose, and to prevail against all odds. We're going to do double leg lifts. Hands under you, palms down for support. Inhale, chin to the chest as you raise your legs to 90 degrees. If you need to modify this, you can bend your knees. Ready? Let's go. Inhale up and exhale down. Pressurize the belly. Scoop the navel in and up towards the spine and press your lower back ribs into the floor. Flex the feet as you raise the legs and point the toes as you lower them. feeling of sinking your navel towards the floor on both the inhale and exhale. Be careful. Be brave. Your navel is will, fearless focus, in spite of everything that would hold you back. The navel center will help you go forward. It's the ability to sustain intent.
and inhale, stretch, and exhale, relax. Arms by the sides, palms up. Feel unlimited power in you. Feel whatever you decide you can do. Feel real and feel forever. Relax. And hold on to your knees and rock on your spine. Rock and roll. And come up and sit on your heels. Now come on to your hands and knees. Tuck the toes and press into down dog. Lift the tailbone towards the sky. Inhale forward into up dog. And exhale back to down dog. And keep going on your own. Inhale, stretch the entire front body. And exhale as you stretch the entire back body. Keep pressing the palms into the floor and the shoulder blades down the back. Send energy through the first two fingers. Keep the elbows straight throughout the exercise. Cultivate a constant stretch between the heels and tailbone and the tailbone and the top of the head. They say in yoga, if you can do down dog well, you can do any yoga pose. Let your heart center open as you come forward. Keep pressing the shoulders down away from your ears as you lift your collarbone. Keep the transition smooth by keeping the entire body and mind engaged in the process. Work on creating length through opposition. To rest, come sitting on your heels and begin again when you feel you can. Now inhale, stretch. and relax the breath and stretch some more. And inhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, come sitting on your heels, hands in the lap and meditate. Now that we've attained the yogic body, let's aspire to the yogic mind, focused, calm and clear, no worries, no fear. Let Satnam resound in your mind. If your mind wanders, don't follow it, let it come back to you. Press the palms into the back of the hips. Inhale up into camel 
and exhale, come sitting on your heels as you lower your forehead towards the floor and keep going. Inhale up and exhale down. Open your eyes when you come up and close them when you go down. And don't hesitate to have a soft surface for your forehead to rest on. Also, you may want to go slower. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded whatsoever, stop and meditate. Remember, you need to go up before you go back. If you don't feel comfortable dropping your head back, just focus on lengthening your spine by keeping the tailbone down and the sternum lifted. Melt your heart center upward. Back bends are a great yoga cure for depression. If you need to rest, come into baby pose, sitting on your heels, forehead on the floor, hands by your sides, palms up. And relax. We're going to do camel pose. If you'd like to modify it, interlace your hands behind you or have your toes curled under and hold your heels. But if possible, come into the full pose, hold on to your ankles or heels, and begin the breath of fire. Press your hips forward and sternum towards the ceiling. Keep consciously relaxing the diaphragm area. This is a radical pose, so be careful, but be brave. Anytime you feel down, do this one you'll feel an immediate lift. It's also a good one for women to do every day for the glands and lymphatic system. It's a good one for men to do to open the heart center. Now relax the breath. Hands on the back, lead with your sternum out of it, and relax. Interlace your hands behind your back, stretch your arms up, inhale, and relax. Lower the hands slowly, come up and sit for a moment and stabilize. Center yourself. and ease into a cross-legged pose and meditate. Inhale Sat and exhale Nam. Name yourself truth and with every breath, live it. And slowly stand up. and have your arms extended, left palm facing up, right palm facing down, 
and begin to turn clockwise. Go slow. You can have your eyes slightly open for balance. If you feel dizzy at any point, stop for a moment and stare at the floor until you feel ready to go on. Not only does this one align your energy, it works on your liver. Now inhale center, stretch, and exhale. Relax the breath, lower the arms, and remain standing. Apply Mool Bond. Contract the rectum, sex organ, and navel. This will stabilize you. This is your deep relaxation. Now allow the work you did to work for you. Lie back and renew. Relax every part of you. From the toes through the top of your head, relaxing. Your body is fine mist. Your stress is dissolving. Time is slowing down. Floating there without a care, relaxing. Feel light, feel new, relaxing through and through. Let your solar plexus relax. Let your lower back relax. Every muscle, nerve, organ, Cell, relaxing. Every impulse memory and concept relaxing. Allow yourself to simply be clear water, reflecting infinity, relaxing. Have your hands above you on the floor. Inhale, stretch. Now hold over or under your bent knees and rock on your spine. Come into a meditative pose. 
We're going to do a meditation to help calm and clear your mind, lessen stress, and give you clarity in your life. Sit comfortably with a straight spine. Lengthen the back of your neck so that the chin is pulled in slightly. The underside of the tongue is pressed against the upper palate. The top teeth are touching the bottom teeth. Your index fingers and thumb tips are meeting. Your eyes are looking up and in towards the brow. Try to feel a pulse where the index finger and thumb tips are meeting. It's very subtle. If you cannot feel a pulse, sense the beat of your heart. Now begin to think Sat Nam in rhythm with your pulse. On one pulse, think Sat, and on the next one, think Nam. Feel the sound pulsing at the brow. Go deep into the sound inside. Let Satnam resound in your mind. Meditate. And now inhale deeply and relax 
and just sit still for a moment and experience all the possibilities of self. And now inhale deeply and relax and just sit still for a moment. And have your hands in prayer pose and meditate for a moment. You've opened new doors in your life. Your homework is to walk through them. Now inhale, hold the breath and visualize yourself as healthy, happy, and fulfilled. See it and feel it. And exhale, inhale, project a healing prayer for someone you know who needs it. And exhale, and inhale, project for peace on earth. And relax the breath and let's end with a long sut and a brief nam. Inhale. Sat. Nam. And thank you. God bless you. Sat Nam.